uh, we'll come back. As we're still answering this question, eh? where you look at uh, financial information, or what you call the quantitative technique and the qualitative technique combined, and we call it agentist model. Okay, it helps you to give a uh, comprehensive decision uh, based on the analysis that is failed. Okay, so we had stopped on, uh, but I agree that the agentist is a process and it has uh, to go through uh, defects, uh, then the mistakes, symptoms, then finally the terminal. Okay, so we're still talking about the defects and specifically um, governance of management weaknesses. Okay, so we had uh, talked about the autocracy and saying you want to hire someone who's non autocratic. Okay, once you have such a person, then the score will not be an eight, but rather either a two, a one, or a zero. Of course, I'm excited to get a zero, but because these guys always make the decisions. So it may be a two. Okay. Uh, how is the board of directors engaging in this? Is doing its role of overseeing what the executive are doing or whatever the executive brings on board, they just approve. Okay. So if they are not passive and rather active, then they may have a one or a zero. Okay. Then the level of depth of management. Um, this one specifically looks at the number of uh, management, eh? the personnel managers. Do you have a reasonable number or you're too few? Okay, so if you're too few, then uh, a score of one in yeah, race. But if you're fairly many and you have a good number, then you have a zero. Okay, and then, um Skilled key management. Are your people experienced? Do they have experience? So, of course, this one can identify it by looking at their files. So, if you have experienced staff, then you may also score a one or zero. Okay, but if you have uh, non experienced, then the score may be very poor. Okay, you may have the four. Okay, then uh, response to change. How is management flexible? as far as change is concerned. Like uh, those for COVID-19. Uh, if uh, a school didn't opt for online classes, you may have challenges. Okay, but if you're flexible enough and maybe consider online classes, chances are high they may stay around. Eh? So by the way, change, you don't look at just only lockdown. There are many other things. We have technologies, we have uh, maybe you want to change the board, okay, all of the changes. So the response of uh, business to change is a serious uh, tool or a serious strength. Eh? So whenever it is poor, then it's coefficient. If you're fairly high, uh, maybe you have things like insurance in place, you have things like uh, uh, plan B, strategic plan, on a few changes that may arise, like it is in case, okay, I don't want to really go into that, but in case of any changes, are there, is your response good or it's uh, it's not? Okay. If it is, then uh, in my score, maybe a two or three, let's give it a five. Okay. Then a weak finance director. Is your finance director very strong? Can he stand his word? Okay, if he says that you have surpassed the budget, I can't give you any more money. Can he stand to that? Or the MD or the CEO will come and shake him up and he releases money. Okay, so you want to have a strong financial director who knows what he's doing. Okay, so if you have a strong one, you may have a one, maybe. Maybe a zero also. Good score. Yeah. So so far, you are scoring in um uh, add this. So far you have 10. So you have 15 left okay, to be among the good, good companies. Okay, to be among the good companies, doing well. So you still allocate based on the strength and advise the company accordingly. So lack of budget decision. Do you, can you enforce decision taking? I'm inquiring, what do you give their weaknesses or what do they should they do? If you're looking at a, a strong entity, that is surviving or wants to survive, you look at strength. How can these weaknesses here be made a strength? OK, 
Okay. I've been explaining like that. The way I'm explaining is how you, you actually put it. If they want an entity that's going to survive for some time. Okay. Um, let's let's sample it out here. For example, lack of a budget. They're saying whenever you lack budget decisions, then you have a score of three. That's a weakness when you lack budget decisions. Because we know from our performance management that um, performance measurement is based on something. So usually say the budget or past uh, performance or industry. So the budget comes in in that regard. That you have a target to allow for comparison to access or to assess the performance of an entity. Wherever you can, whenever you cannot really have a performance measure, then you're, you're doomed because you don't know you're doing well or you're doing badly. Okay, so because of that, you want to strengthen uh, budgets. Okay, maybe you may want to have now a budget committee. You may want to have um, uh, what evaluation teams. You want to have supervisors uh, do performance evaluation on their employees based on the budgets that they agreed upon. So in case you have such a scenario, then you may have a one or even a zero. Okay, in case you, you consider budget seriously. Uh, cash flows, do you have a cash flow budget? Yes, are you, uh, is it, do you give it time to make it? Or is this one that you will be like, uh, I think I'm going to receive 20 AM uh, in this month, and I'm going to spend 5 AM, then also 15. Is it is it realistic or you're, you're just saying, okay? So in that case, we're saying if you lack a cash flow plan, then you're doomed because you receive money anyhow, you don't know where it's coming from on the source. So chances of it of the sources getting dry is also high. And then the way you also spend the money itself. Okay, it's either by intuition or by 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 reflection, by reflex. Okay? Now in that regard, you're saying you like it to fail. Eh? So you strengthen cash plans. And then in that case, we have the one also. Okay, then uh, no costing systems. You put costing systems in place so that you have the right cost of a product so that you charge the right price of the product by putting a margin that is good. Okay, where the cost is, where you don't have a costing system, you may either over cost your items and therefore the selling price also be high and therefore you just allow your customers. Or you may have um, a low cost, yet in actual sense or in actual what is happening on the on the on the premises is that you're spending a lot. But in your because of lack of costing system, you don't achieve all the costs very well. So you end up having a low cost, and then you charge a low price, and now the prices or revenues cannot actually cover even the cost. So it become uh, an issue. Okay, so assuming you now you strengthen them and have them in place, maybe a one. Okay, and uh, so that gives us thirteen. Okay, so we still have a few more to spend twelve. So that's that's um, basically defects. Now you go to mistakes. Now mistakes. How are you doing? How is your gearing? Uh, okay, let me see. So how how do you give the score? For example for skill labor and give it a figure. Skill labor not fall here. Like, like you're seeing these items here, by the way. Eh? Is the way they are. You cannot change them. I don't assume to don't assume that I will think in the paper. So I was just telling you in the beginning. But if you're going to do agencies, you need to master this thing of yours. This thing. You know, the other defects I have management and accountancy, accounting physics, efficiencies. Under management, I have autocracy of CEO, passive board. Lack of depth in management, skilled, okay, poor response, a weak finance director. You must know those. Then the scores, you you also need to know the scores so that you when you're locating the scores, you don't allocate an eight or a ten. For the credit, you're looking at the going concern of a business. Okay, so in short, you need to know this, this information. That's why I've written it here, and so that's why I'm using it. I think it's a number that you can actually score all. Okay, but it means you just give it to you time and master your thing. Then explanation, like you're seeing me explaining, that's how you explain. Very easy. Okay. So to continue, mistakes, high gearing. 
It's saying if you're highly indebted, you know that's gearing, you normally use debt ratio, where you have uh, debt to equity. So if you have a uh, two to one, you may be, you're, I think you're doing well. But imagine you have um, a 10 to one ratio, debt to equity. That is high debt, okay? High leverage, and if you qualify for 15. Okay, but where your debt is fairly low, maybe two to one, you may have uh, actually two or one. Okay, over trading. Okay, that's still a mistake. Uh, so you want to improve in that area. Okay, only trade or only involve, engage yourself in activities that give you returns. Okay, that you can afford, whose capacity you can afford. Okay, don't, if you are an unity firm, don't ask for, say what? Say, maybe five banks, yeah? Yet you, you, your senior staff maybe have like two or three guys. So how do you intend to meet such clients? You understand? That's over trading. Okay. Um, so assuming now you work on that and you, you want to live within your limits, okay, within your capacity. Maybe you may have a five. Okay. Uh, reliance on a single product or single project, sorry, on a client. And have several employees, have several sorry, clients. Okay, have several clients. Like it is for insurance companies, for example. Okay, I don't know how many clients they have, but they usually have many, many clients buying policies. So you want to consider that if you're a business. Don't look at a single client because it's big, it's giving you 20 M. You rather have five that give you 20 rather than having one that give you 20 or that give you 30. Okay, because if this guy just changes his mind, then you go under straight. Okay, so assuming you have several products and they're doing well, maybe you may have a three or a two. Okay. Um, so that's so far. I don't know what's the total now. So that is nine. Nine plus uh, 13, I'll be 22. So left with three. Okay, so symptoms, signs and symptoms, or symptoms of failure. Under financial, your issues, are they all doing well? You want to improve them. You want your profitability to be high. You want the efficiency to be good. You want the liquidity to be high in terms of um, current assets and current liabilities. Okay. You want to avoid creative accounting. You want to avoid manipulation of financials. So assuming you're doing well in all those fields, maybe you score one. Put this one here. Maybe you score zeros here. You're doing well financially. But uh, when it comes to end financial, maybe you had challenges. Uh, employees, you didn't you refuse to increase their salaries, and maybe they left. Maybe you have now a, a one. Okay. Delayed payment. Of course, it's usually financial in nature. Financial management. We always delay payment, but uh, encourage receipt of payment of uh, payment or receipts very very fast. We demand our customers put them on pressure, but for us we want to pay. It's financial in nature. I mean. Uh, that's financial management. You're trying to manage your liquidity, but don't go to the extreme. Eh? So assuming you're the kind of person who balances, that your customers take five days, but for you in paying, you pay maybe in 10 days. Maybe it's not too late. Okay. So in that regard, maybe you have a zero. Okay. Then uh, falling market share. Assuming for you have maintained it, you're doing well in terms of maintenance, you're increasing your production. You're reaching out to your customers and trying to advertise your goods, uh, producing quality goods, and therefore you're maintaining your market share. Maybe you have a one. Okay. So when you add all your scores, if I add these ones, nine plus uh, two plus 13, you have 24. Okay. Now, 24 is a good mark because you're below 25. Now, there we say, you're doing well. That is agentis. Okay, so that's how guys you comment with agentis. Any questions? Because uh, I intend to stop here for today. Any questions I can respond to?